Hi guys. So I decided um, to kind of come on and discuss a few things um, about some, you know, very generalized topics while, you know, being here, um, you know, as a human being on earth. Um, you know, the topics of just like being here, um, and, uh, uh, you know, being a human being on, on this earth plane. And then as well as, um, you know, some of those cords and attachments, um, with, with our experiences with, with death. And, um, these are just some perspectives that, um, one of them came around like 2016, um, with a few family members that had passed that um, I, had, I had painted about, I had kind of gotten a visual and understanding then on the subject, um, and then recently have kind of had that um, balancing factor on, um, I'm gonna call it like the prism of experiences, which could in fact um, uh, create they they play hand in hand um with with these with these experiences so this is just to kind of shed a light give a um a new perspective um kind of like i was um getting earlier as this is kind of like a recipe um so this you know like may resonate this be like really yummy and nutritious information that i'm like oh my gosh this is awesome this is this is really helpful. Um, this is like soothing and loving and warm. And uh, you know, others might be like, no, that's okay. But it is a rest, uh, as a sense of a recipe that where it has, um, if this recipe sits back and it just like spoils, it's like, it's not really like beneficial to anybody for, for the recipe, like not to be out there to kind of give some type of like nutrition. Um, and I'm kind of speaking in a metaphor of, of, of recipes and perspectives. Um, and, and just kind of with all of that. So um, something that has really, really been coming um, in strong for me and this perspective and this understanding that I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, like that makes sense. Like we should, we should all get it. Um, it but to me, this information definitely came through like uh, experience of like colors and prisms, which, um, you know, as, I, I think colors are amazing. Um, I love colors and colors are, you know, light frequencies, which are numbers. So I love numbers, colors, and, you know, all of those things. So it made the most sense that this was coming through as a, um, um, a perspective. So the, so the perspective that had really come in and had made a lot of sense was <laughs> Pink Floyd's like album color, album cover where it's that single source of light and then it breaks off into a prism so we'll i'm gonna kind of like give you a little visual here very un un uh just a little this is this is my way of like kind of uh, transmuting like what i what i see into something that could be a little bit more like visually understood okay so you know we all I think it is a, a unified kind of conscious effort um, of coming, you know, that our souls kind of come from this like single, single source, um, you know, certain perspectives on like um, creators, um, you know, God, a uh, just, you know, even like a unified uh, source. And so, um, so then our soul kind of drops down into earth. It chooses to, you know, like come down into earth and have, have this experience because, um, certain, you know, earth brings its own, um, its own lessons and its own experiences so that like our soul can, can have these. Um, and so I think it's a, it's a beautiful experience that we have, we have like this earth to, experience um kind of like an uh, a sense of individuality um i'm going to call it kind of like your 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 ray of color like you are like oh my gosh i get to come be i'm gonna say like purple in this life um I like purple. so kind of like the the so we have the you know single source kind of the this is this is the album cover image this is the image that i keep getting and i'm like oh my god if we all knew that we come from one but we're just 
we're on this perspective, um, things could be a little bit cooler. So, anyway, what I was going to say is, so Earth is kind of like our, our prism. So everything is kind of sourced from this single unified consciousness from creator, from, from God, from whatever label, because we, we like to label where we are as human beings right now. Um, and to break things down, which is the beauty of our experience. Like we are, we're supposed to do that. Um, but we are technically still one. We are technically still this unified um, aspect of consciousness or God or um, Sophia or, you know, the, the creatrix, the creator. Um, like we, we are creators. Um, but earth, earth is like our our, our prism. So like when we kind of come through, when our, when our soul kind of like comes through and co when we come into earth, we get to experience this like beautiful, like fractalization of color. So earth is our prism to where this unified source fractalizes. And within these like fractalizations, this is where we get our diversity and our human experiences what we like, what we don't like, whether female, male, um, like we have the, so duality comes in there, night, dark, male, female. So we come through, so our sense of duality is our first understanding of the spectrum of experiences. So we kind of come through that duality, even though we are working on unifying, we are, that's why prism, prism's a sacred, sacred geometry like aspect of shapes. So we come through, the duality into unity. So like earth is literally our, our, our prism to come to learn through that. Um, but it's also the, it's prisms are also the things that break up the single source of light to where you get the rainbows and the color. So in that sense, um, so it's like our soul drops into this earth and we get to experience, um, the, like I said, the fractalizations of of our source so it's like we get to come down and we get to experience emotions we get to experience sensations these are these are our um these are our our senses like when we've come down here and um you know and it's funny because we get to have our likes and we get to have our dislikes. And this is honestly like a blessing because when we're unified, you don't get to put a weight or a, um, you know, like such a weight on these little spectrums, these little fractalizations, these little like pieces of, of, of experience that we can now give weight and now we, and we can give importance to. So, you know, like as, as this single soul, but experiencing like a, a prism of experiences, like as a human being, um, we, we have all of these and we have our likes and we have our dislikes. So I, I, I find it, um, you know, we've had our, definitely our conflict of interests as human beings and like as a, as a collective for sure. But there's definitely a beauty in it because we're allowed to have it. Um, I think there could be, I think the frustration and a little bit of the agitation, aggravation, and um, violence could definitely, I would love for that aspect to be like transmuted into something more loving. Um, and understanding that we do, like we, we are coming through a, a single source that like, we aren't disconnected. Um, we're just experiencing that different, I'm going to say like that color of ray within this experience and this, in this life form and in this human body. Um, and that, that is where we can have like those aggravations and those, those differences. But within that, that's the beauty of the earthly experiences that we can put weight on certain things. But I, I just, I would love um, you know, and these are also things that I'm definitely like working with in myself, you know, but there's, there's been this like, oh my God, but it's like all one, like all of it is, all of it is funneled into to one. And so it's like, 
if we can be able to be more conscious and bring like a loving sense into that, um, it would be great. And to honestly like honor the differences because we are here to have differences. We are here to have that choice to put weight on this and what we like and what we dislike, whether we want to be male, whether we want to be female, whether we want to have kids, whether we want to, you know, um, have a pet or be an animal or be a tree or be a rock or like whatever and get that perspective of experiences. So it's, it is, it's really like earth itself being the prism to allow us to experiencing these fractalizations of light is beauty within itself. And it's like, if we can understand that we can kind of, um, uh, we can love it a bit better being like, Oh my gosh, we are, we are here to do this. Like, okay, you're doing your thing. That's what you're supposed to experience is I love you for that. Like, I love that you have this just for perspective. I love that this is the way that you want to go do things. Like, that's awesome. That is what we are here for. Like, I love that you want to do that. Cool. I'm I'm on I'm on ray yellow, where you might be on ray blue. So I'm talking about complementary colors now, like two different spectrum of colors on the color scheme. But like, cool. You're 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 supposed to shine. You're supposed to experience yellow. Oh, you're you're supposed to experience blue in in your lifetime and like your your soul's journey. Like, cool. Like, we are all coming from the same place. Like, props to you. We are supposed to be different instead of having this, like, it's different. Like, so, that is something that, that, that diagram, that image, just was something that made a lot of sense to me when I saw it from that. Because I've heard, like, we all come from one, you know, unity consciousness, brothers and sisters, and, like, all of, all of these um, dynamics and, and wordings that I come into. But like, when I literally saw this perspective, I was like, Oh, that totally makes sense. And if you think about it, like what beauty a rainbow is, like it is the full spectrum of color. It is not the dual, like it is the, the full spectrum of color. And that we have these sensations as a human being, like how things come through, like touch, sense, emotions, like coming from, I'm just going to start repeating myself now, which is okay. Cause obviously those are the things that just need to be come, come forward, come, come to the table to, to be made sure that they've been made known. Um, that's the beauty of it. And it's just like, look, colorful like look how colorful our life is um because light you know you think of light you think of white it you know it's it and it is beautiful and it and it feels so great and it, that single source of light but like how beautiful is the differences of light within the color spectrum so anyway so we'll kind of so from that um so yeah we are we're we are here and each soul each soul has its own, I'm going to call it a ray wave because I'm talking in light, light rays, light perspectives, light spectrums that, you know, each blue, red, yellow, purple, sorry that these are like not colored in, blah, 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 blah. each of these are like ray, rays of color. So your ray wave, and we're also talking light too, frequencies, numbers, um, shapes, forms, all, all the fun things, all of the life languages that if we pay, take time to listen to, we can understand when life talks to us a little bit more. Um, so yeah, so everybody has their um, individual like ray wave that they are, they're writing. They're writing, if you think about it, like our, I'm saying we're riding a wave. We are like 70% water and really earth is the lesson of emotion because water is the element of emotions and feelings. So anyway, before I kind of like go off that way, let's not just try to stay on track here. So yeah, anyway, that's um, uh, that we are, we've come through this prism, which earth represents the prism. Our soul comes through earth as this prism so that we can experience individuality. 
in our own experiences and each soul has its own contract to do so and its own time to do so um so transitioning into that and um the the topic of of when we have you know earthly earthly souls that that leave us that decide you know they have completed their spectrum of experiences um whether that be a short time or a long time um that 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 their soul's done that was their contract that that was their earth school that they they had come here and they had done what they needed to do during that time they passed class you know they're off they get to decide um i am one that believes in reincarnation so they hit they, they want to decide that they want to come back and experience a different ray ray wave of earth school you know maybe as a, a male female animal tree plant any sentient being that they can i mean that's that's definitely that the the choice of of their soul um but anyway so speaking upon that because if we take if we take this image this linear image of of this way and we flip it to like a vertical like our soul drops into earth and then we kind of do the spectrum of experiences we can also look at this as a tree um so we're gonna kind of change this into a a a tree ish so you're gonna let me do this other one kind of kind of keep it which okay so so being on earth you know we have our our friends and our families and our families are like biologically like links to our chain so our family members are fractalizations of our of one of our souls i mean everybody kind of is but you have heavier um i'm gonna say weighted just because we're you know weighting everything down and the experiences and giving giving weight giving importance when i'm speaking of weight i'm, I'm speaking of like Im importance um and you know um in the spent sense of when we say like things weigh heavy on our heart like you can you can feel it like you can just feel the the density of emotions so when i'm in terms of speaking of weight that's what i'm saying the density of of emotions um that we experience so so our family and is is uh you know biologically biologically connected to us um in our souls and uh they're like a fractalization of our of our soul and tech, you know, everybody really is because they are coming from one source. But like I said, um, the, the family within the lifetime that you're in right now, you're going to have a little bit more weight. You're going to have a little bit more weight to them so that we're all riding the same Ray, Ray Wink, Ray Wink, Ray Wave. Uh, to an extent, it depends on how you want to look at the Ray Wave um, or that color. Sorry. It's just a different perspective you can go down so um so anyway you're uh, you're gonna be you know a little bit more weighted and connected to family members so i'm gonna change this like ray wave diagram to we're gonna go to a tree now like tree of life we're talking about family and family trees so um source so anyway um so yeah so our our uh so we're linked a li little bit more in that sense so we are we are rooted they are a part of of one of the roots so coming from this diagram speaking on light waves we're gonna go to we're gonna speak on speak about like death connection through kind of like a, a tree tree diagram so and like I said, we had used the prism. So really technically this is a prism, but I'm using this as like our earth. This is like our earthly, our, our earthly planes and our connections and those like spectrums of experiences and the, the individuality 
that you know technically comes from you know this this one here's our here's our source like our our single source and, you know that's you know that gives life so we've got all our green shrubbery but right now we are in the more if you think about it even denser soil underneath it's dense it's heavier it's it's nutritious so it's nutritious and delicious so in a sense of um talking about like soul connections and and family members so our family members have um a, a more of a weight and a connection to our, our a fractalization part of our soul so when a family member dies and they go to the other side since there was you know we already have the biological sense to it um there is an aspect of a fractalization of your soul self that also that also left and um this is kind of in a sense that this is where what we perceive like pain to be because within our individualization that we're getting to experience it here that might have not been a part of self that we were ready to like let go of um and so what i have seen is like and this is something that i learned a few years back um with the image of kind of this self and there were so many um cords like these cords these vines these roots that were still kind of like wanting to anchor the soul into earth when the souls when the souls like wanting to like graduate it's it's it the soul's ready to go but but there was so much um attachments from like family members and things that were kind of keeping the soul a little bit more grounded because um because of that pain because of that attachment of like how close they were in that in that soul of like fractalization to the family um that one thing i would you know would want to be aware of it's like if we can well number one i think it would be great to consciously have that relationship with the other side um and you know in in knowing so and that like they're there's they're they're great they've like you know they've depending on the soul they've chosen to graduate and like go to the light um to the unified light um so it's one of those things that caution's not technically the right word but when we understand and can like lovingly um release those those aspects of of our soul number one the transition uh, is better um easier uh it's it's like a highway versus like country road <laughs> transition um and it's it's not weighted and it's and it's and it's uh and it's fast um well depending on that soul's contract honestly on like how they go that really is how that actually goes but um but what i'm saying is if we can under if we can understand and kind of like lovingly release that part of ourselves or release um that family member um and that attachment because it is like your family member like we're all rooted so it's like oh there goes like some of the there goes some of the root but like yep we're still all a part of like this tree um but yeah it 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 uh doesn't feel good because there's we have that attachment so it's like once we understand and maybe can uh let go of a little bit of that uh, attachment um and you know these are these are the concepts of like heaven seeing them again all of that if we can really like how I want to say this hmm. really really integrate that relationship 
with spirit and the I mean they're like it's like they're there they they are there they are within you they're everything it's um uh, that unified consciousness um it I guess that would be like my biggest prayer for people to understand um and so that we can look at some of this um some of these very uh, these events a little a little a little lighter um because like I said, we, we are here on earth. We are here to experience emotions. We are experienced to experience a depth. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> depth into the root, um, of the tree. So I'm not, I'm not, um, disassociating that experience, but I think, um, A way to just be able to transmute that is to to just understand the unified consciousness kind of um, integration that you know that uh, that they've 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 been here they have experienced ray the ray wave of like blue and like they're like nah I'm good you know like blues blues good all right we're you know going back up into like our unified source like cool our earth school is cool um you know and then like I said if they want to come down and do yellow or pink or you know that's that's up to that that's that's up to that soul or they just can be up there but like we are literally we are still we're still source and we are still connected to that unified source so like they're not they're not gone like it's the perspective that brings the pain it is the perspective that brings the pain and suffering um, of, of death. And um, it, it really is an illusion. Um, so yeah, I think those are really really the things to take away as just um, and just just giving some visuals of as to, you know, um, how our souls stream from the unified the unified source and that we're here to experience the sense of individuality um and and within that individuality there is you know there is family and in individualities where we we can create you know um attachments um to, you know a, the perspective of attachment and um and I think that that's the that's the, the the beauty of of what I you know say Earth Earth School. That's the beauty of Earth School is that we're we're here to experience the fractalization of light, of source, of creator. Like that is literally why the soul dropped down into into here. Like hey, you know, like ooh, this is gonna be my name. Like you know, we can if you look at everything, it's broken. Like it gets broken down so so much, and that and that's like while we're here it's, it's a fractalization of source and um to ex to experience individuality but um but as for like when we have somebody die that you know why that you know why that is is somewhat you know painful is because you know that was a that was a root that was a uh fractalization of self that um decided to you know retire and that there there was that connection you know on on the the weighted on the weight weighted aspect of like the earth plane so um and just like kind of under understanding that part of those emotions and a part of that weight is just it's a, a part of that experience, um, the, the beauty of the experience, the, the beauty of the sensations the, and beauty of, of breaking down the emotions, the sensations, the, 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 the branches of individuals within families and friends and heart connects and, you know, animals, pets, every, you know, everything. So, you know, some, some might be a little bit thicker, like a thicker, thicker weight to, 
to release, but it's like, yeah, just a thicker weight to release. But if we can just kind of like lovingly release it, being like, oh, thank you. Like, I love you. Um, I know that you're doing good. Like at your you're right there. You're not, you're not gone. Like you're, you're right. You know, um, yeah, that's just something that, uh, I, I think would be just a, a, a beneficial, um, understanding perspective, like brought to the table that, um, has now allowed me to react to life experiences in a little bit different way so anyway i just wanted to bring that message um in and just that perspective and the lessons and the and the understanding of um of of, of, of colors and life and chords and color rays and all the fun things just so that um so that it could maybe be a tool or a recipe that provides you like nutrition to the soul or you know just allows you to maybe um it gives you another perspective it gives you another um way to perceive life it, it gives you a, like another color ray to whatever glasses color you want to look out in your life too because you you have the option to like experience like all all the colors of the rainbow um so yeah and just coming from like a place of love and um you know just that that unified unified aspect of source light beauty well beauty's really earthly but yeah that unified that we are we are one experiencing fractalizations of self and experiences so um i hope that you enjoyed that and that was just a little recipe that needed to um be 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 cooked and presented so that it didn't spoil <laughs> and um i hope you enjoyed it and just um all the love and and blessings for experiencing this earth plane and earth school and all the colors so all right